Breaks start. No breaks. We're we're saying wait. Okay, this literally finished. Let's go. Uh, we'll be changing the name soon enough. Yeah, of course. Uh, but we know what's going on, right? We've got Zoo versus Merfolk. Exactly. No, the, the name is already changed. Yeah, I can see, yeah. Yeah, Zoo versus Merfolk, which year is it? Yep. <laughs> Who did just win? <laughs> yes, Rhinos won. Rhinos, yes. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the, the Rhinos plus Bloodman on the play were a big indicator of what, who may have won. And now it's time for Merfolk! <laughs> Turn one, nothing. Thank you very much, Bilbo. Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate that. We're trying our best to keep you entertained. And I have to say, I am enjoying this semi-final like a lot because it's too much that is very funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, a lot could go there. Now, to yeah, be exactly. fair, I expected a lot more back and forth and a lot more interaction. Yeah. But still, did Mengu top 8? No, Mengu was 11th. Yeah, to the score is correct. That it's was zero, very zero close. Because both of players agreed to wait and delay their, their, their matches so we can watch entirely in streaming. Yeah, so this is live, yeah. yeah. So it's not like a time walk match. This no, no, is it's happening perfect. right now. Exactly. Happening right now, we've got a you know uh, a chat open in case something goes wrong. We can immediately let the team know. Exactly. But let's hope nothing goes wrong. Okay, uh, we've got uh, Silver Girl Adept reveal Rashad and Port Hands or something. Check in the text. You can't seem to win against Merfolk. <laughs> same <laughs> as a person who plays Breach. Same. Who won? Rhinos won. Mm -mm. Rhinos are on to the finals. Hammer was in top 8, but it was defeated. Yeah, by Rhinos. By Rhinos! Okay, now we've got a wild cattle into uh, into Kavu, mm. which is now a 4-4 four, four creature. We'll probably grow soon enough to a 5-5. Five, five. Italian Nikachu. I, I think <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a compliment, isn't it? Hey, I really hope okay. that's Kavu, oh my oh, god. Nice. Oh, it's okay. So, Trickster makes a creature lose abilities. And because Kavu is an XX X with X. an ability, it loses that ability, so it and becomes a zero, 0 and dies immediately to into stay yeah. Yeah. And let's remember that the... No, it's not an island. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, there is another land. So he has an island, so maybe he could start to uh, make Merfolk unblockable because his opponent have an island. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bashing. Yeah, so. absolutely. Merfolk trickster is killing Kavu. Yes. Yes, exactly. it is. As dress down wood. Tight shaper. Targeting what? Oh, thinking, mm. thinking. Is uh, okay. They've got like a okay counter. Saying this is an island now, dog hunt. Yeah, I remember when I played, I think I played like some kind of deck with a dress down main deck, and I got paired against a deck with a uh, scourge of the skyclaves and Kavu because it was like a, like a, like a uh, death shadow zoo. My opponent wasn't happy about that. <laughs> wasn't happy. When they got, and they had a Tarmogoyf, so they were like, come on. Come on. Okay, triple fetch in the grave, one Kavu in the grave, untap, Kavu, Nakatol. Uh, thank you, look, cheers. <laughs> thank you. Have a great the rest of the day. <clears throat> okay, basic planes. I need that person who said who says draft basics all the time. <laughs> I need that person now. Every time we saw one. 
go tunis yep let's see what is happening hmm. thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much <clears throat> Uh, the cabo on the board. Okay, can anybody guess what art this place is from? Is it like Ixalan or like... I think I recognize it, but I can't really put my finger on it. I'm not sure either. It's, like all, I, I, some, it's something... I, th oh, I, My brain says Ixalan, but I, I don't think I can trust it. Oh yeah, Kaladesh. Yeah, exactly, Kaladesh or Ixalan. I think these, the, the shapes seem maybe like it's a Kaladeshian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to guess, I would say Kaladesh or Excellent. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah good. good. I, I will talk about it later. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, we've got Team Excellent and Team Kaladesh for the basics. And meanwhile, okay, we've got Draco coming down. So it's a 4 4 creature. Hmm. Who's cheaper um, for each basic type, and it also gives abilities to all the creatures. Right now, yes, uh, depending four. on their color. Attacking for I think there's a Zagoth Triumph there, so it's an attack for five with oh, Kabu yeah. and three with Nakatul, and then we had the Ramage ability, so discard draw. <laughs> that's a huge attack. I mean, that's an eight damage push. You could jump. Yeah. You could jump. Yeah, but then, as we said before, sooner or later you have to stop the jump. So you need a second plan for dealing with this creature. Um, or Murfol can win on the backswing. You know, yeah, exactly. Play a lot, get island island walk, and just bash in. You know, for lethal. What triumph is that? That is Zagath triumph. That is Zagath triumph. And oh, we indeed see Lord of Atlantis and yeah, maybe a bot. And just swing. Swing with everything. Kill ya. And in response. And lightning bolt. Lightning bolt on the Lord, of course. Uh, with and the Cavu no, trigger, I he discarded another Cavu. With the Cavu trigger, another Cavu was discarded. And yeah, 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 they get trampled from the from Draco. Yep. Okay. He survived, so. That was fast. The Xalan Plains version yeah. 262. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jimmy. So sideboarding. Yeah. Actually, actually, we talked we with have the players. Tips. We talked with the players before. We know that Zoo will sideboard nothing. Yes. Because he doesn't think that the sh any card that he has could be better than his deck list. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, 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 the Zoo player himself said, I'm not sideboarding anything and the merfolk player says that they will cut double they will cut double dog hunt so the one drops and they will also cut sveilun two copies and bring in double spreading seas and double hubbing of the tides so this is what the players said right it, there is no speculation is unless they change their mind but they were asked literally before the match there um, is something different that you think some one of them should do? I think I like uh, Chat's suggestion to yeah. bring in Hushbringer. Uh, you might even bring in Te Teferi Time Raveler because it's interaction, you know? Mm -hmm. So you could cut Stubborn Denial uh, and just bring in Teferi because it's interaction. You could bring in Hushbringer, you know, it blocks at least. So uh, there could be some... Uh, some options there. He did Sugu consumes all. It's not that great because um, this is not the deck. Yeah, no, uh, it's, this is the deck this is, is not. Yeah, uh... This is not this deck. We will change it in a second. Um, so coming back, he did Sugu consumes all. Isn't that great because most Merfolk list play two drops actually, not one drops and zeros. So he did Sugu would kill like Ether Vile and Richard and Paul's hand. Which is actually being sided out, and Tide Shaper, of which there are, I think, like two ish copies. I don't think that we will make in time. And of course, we have directly the second game of this match. Um, we also have to change the name of the deck on the right, change the name to Merfolk, because 
uh, you know, just so that everybody knows what's happening. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Could be tuna, could be fish people, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's certainly not Breach, even though Breach does play Merfolk, which is Emery. This matchup is a nightmare for Zoo. I mean, it seems like it, but Zoo is up a game. Yeah, but now Merfolk is on the play, so it could change a little bit. Mentor, mentor, best plan post board in Merfolk. Yeah, I mean, if only they played Monastery Mentor. <laughs> if only they did. <laughs> Which decks are in the top eight? Okay, so we've got eight unique decks. All of the decks are different. And we've got Zoo, we've got Creativity, we've got Rhinos, Merfolk, Hammer, Merktite, um, com Breach without a combo. And it's at Prowess. And Prowess, thank you very much. Zoo sided, I, uh, sided in Ashbringer, so maybe he changed his, his mind after... After we ask them, yeah, which is which is interesting because we we ask them before the match. Yeah, so okay, they sorry. knew the necklace, okay. so they so they 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 actually they had to change their opinion, like you know, uh, in the spur of the moment, and this was Molly getting down to six. Murphy keeps seven on the play. Brothers from another mother. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Brother from another mother. Fish from another I don't know what. Dish. dish. <laughs> Wish. Yeah, I can see that's very easy. strong affiliation, affinity for Merfolk. Affinity, yeah, by yeah. the way, okay, chat, there should be a card with affinity for Merfolk. Totally agree. Aff affinity for Merfolk, like three or something. <sighs> and Kalis. What is the dice on. Th oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, a reminder. Yeah. Second one. Oh, and again, <laughs> one one land double vial keep. Yeah, that is a classic. One could say that's a classic. Okay, Zagoth Troyum, the bug one, blue, black, green. Yes, Phelan gets indestructible. Yeah, I guess. So, so basically, it should have said uh, affinity for merfolk. Gain indestructibility or something. Oh, again, Kaladesh basic, and a le ley line of binding. Ah, uh, thoughtfish instant five blue draw three affinity for merfolk. Oh, there is yes, yes. Give me that card. Thoughtfish is an excellent <laughs> design. Ix uh, is Ixalan okay? It's Ixalan or Kaladesh, yeah. Okay. Oh, because I I bet at the f at the, at the very uh, at the very beginning yeah, it would be Kaladesh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I said it would be Ka Ixalan, so I guess I was right. My instinct was correct. Okay, well, where is this fo forest from? Still Ixalan, I mean, though. this forest is from a uh, land station at an LGS, but which edition specifically is it? I cannot put my finger on it completely. I'm not, I'm not even guessing. Okay, Master oh. of Pearls. Uh, no, 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 Master of Pearls is a different card. Uh, Master of the Pearls, Trident. Master of Pearls is a like a one white monk from from Tarkir, which actually I think is excellent. I played draft with it. It was great. Yeah, Missing Red Mana. Actually, Gigantha yeah. to hand. Oh, Desperation move, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. But you know, you have three mana opens, you can do that. Why why later? Master of Pearls was the morph one. Yes. I think it unmorphed for like three white white. Forest is also Ixalan. So yeah, matching basics. Match basics. Yeah. They may have like started playing magic in Ixalan. So you know. Oh, possible. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, Ixalan had like pirates and, and Dyson or souls. Yeah, it so was I guess it funny. fits so. Thoughts on the Merfolk's Players Island? Well, I prefer the OG, uh, the OG island. Okay, and just when I was saying it, Zoo dies, <laughs> right? The, just when I said it, easy clap, easy but... clap. So now we will have game three. Yeah, with Zoo on the play. <laughs> yes. Do you think it will be an advantage for Zoo? Yeah, a absolutely. big advantage or a normal advantage? Yeah, I th I think big. I think big. Big advantage. Like they can start with the one drop and then uh, keep 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 keeping up interaction. Mm -hmm. They could go like one drop pass and one drop bolt or you know ley line. Okay, you, you can't have ley line binding then. Yeah. But the point is, you can establish a threat early and then keep interacting. Oh uh, yes, yes. Gigantha may have been si shuffled in. Oh. Okay, so yeah. we will we will try to address that. Uh, I I'll just run them very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's running to the table to tell them just to stop him before of death. Oh no, no, it's it's outside. It's on the board. We can see now. The Dacklis are available, yeah, from the top eight. He notices, notice, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will see very fast and very... Okay, I, I see that he will doing something different. Skura, I mean, not the players, so I'm guessing both. Okay, here we are. Um, it is it is uh, legal to board uh, to sixty one, but it would be illegal. Oh no, okay, it would be legal because it's game two, so they could sign it in technically. Yeah. Okay. Thank. Uh, hello, Mikey Hopkins. Hello. Yeah, it's just a mistake. It's not a big a big deal, especially if he remember that Giganta, Giganta should be um, declared before. So uh, if he starts to shuffle, shuffle in the Giganta, and then before the game he said, oh, wait, I have made a mistake. It's not a big deal at all. Also, actually, when I ran there, uh, they actually put out Giganta before I got there. Yeah, exactly. So actually, they, they had remembered. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They'd done it before I arrived, so. Also I... because, uh, no, no, it was the other game. They are on table one, so they don't have a crowd watching yeah they're watching but it's a little bit forest but maybe someone have remembered him yes don't worry chad don't worry i actually so i couldn't even tell them because they they had fixed the thing themselves and still there is a judge dedicated because now it's very important every every single step of the game and if the mistake was Later in the game, of course, there should be a judge. But yeah, that, but that is a fair point. Maybe I yeah. should, shouldn't even. I, I'm not sure. Actually, actually, what I should do is I should ask the judge what they think I should do. I think that's the most. Uh, yeah, exactly. The, the, the best, the best, exactly. the best way. Okay, uh, we've got Mutavolt pass. Now we've got Ragavan attack and disconnect. Okay, w we will see. Oh, this member on top. Oh, come on. Come on, this is such a unlucky. Th okay, to be fair, I already the the bar, the advantage bar for Zoo, I think is just just way no, off the chart yeah, right now. He's dashing on. Yeah, shocking. And uh, if Zoo plays like double creature, you know, Merfolk is in trouble. I think this is creature plus removal. At which point they're in trouble. Minamo, water at school's edge. And here's oh. another one. It's a classic Ooh. island. That's just an expensive island to play around to choke, or so am I told. Mm -mm. Let's see what is happening now. Because. 
Okay, we've got this basic again. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we and bold. we have seen this place every single one. You bold then attack with both, and this time <laughs> it was just an island. So, but if I don't know, I I didn't see if uh, Merfolk the have an other lens in hand. Okay, Gigantha not. into hand. Okay, maybe it is winnable for Merfolk if the best play yeah, is to take Gigantha, but. Uh, okay, and, and that's failing. Okay, fair enough. A lot of Atlantis draw, but again, I'm really not sure about that. And we might see. Okay, well, no, a two one and a one one. This is literally a mm. a limited deck now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure how we got a limited deck in the semifinals, but <laughs> oh, I can see that chat still remembers the Blinkmouth. Uh, the Blinkmouth um, case from yesterday. Oh yes, yeah, Zoo might be holding removal. That is yep. true. That is true. And just waiting for them to deploy further into the battlefield. What is that Merfolk that is not Tide Shaper? It's Silver Girl Adept. The reveal Merfolk. Yep. And I right, said so this could be an attack for five now. Combat phase. Oh, actually, With this both. is this is the yeah. original art of Silver Girl Adept. And double blocking on Ragavan. Yeah, the Elvish Visionary Dray card. I mean, to be fair, every Elvish Visionary draws a card. Um, right. So, Ragavan dice. That was probably the the best uh, trade for Ragavan. So let's see what happens. We could see Gigantha come down, just just as a you know, five five elk. Yep. Just elk the opponent to death. Could um, be a big problem. Yeah, there could be tribal flames. Okay, chat. If we see tribal flames, like this, like Blood Crypt. Oh my God, overgrown tomb. Okay. Oh yeah, and there is a there is second red from uh, from the treasure. Exactly. Chat. chat. I think there are two treasure. <clears throat> oh my God, is it double tribal flames? Is it double tribal flames? Uh, it's not. No. Ooh, Ooh, this is huge. This is huge. Because, uh, because now the Merfolk player isn't terribly behind because he was. But now no, he can he still can fight. Yeah, and actually he can maybe turn the corner. Play and a creature, creature bash. And Giganta in the deck after all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is. So, okay, this is my this might be the turning point, literally. Tide shaper kicked. Gigantha was put on the bottom. Yep. Turning off red mana, so now there is no access to tribal flames actually. And oh, the Lord is this on. is huge. So now he cannot block. It's unbelievable that the advantage bar has just swung yeah. back. Uh, as Steam Vents is of course untapped. This was amazing. It's just an really island. Amazing. Right. Am I missing something? No, the I the Stevens should be untapped, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, okay. Oh, okay. Tell him. I think Merfolk might steal this one. Let's see. I don't want to jinx it for him. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I literally said limited deck, and then they said like, okay, okay, limited deck. I'll show you. Subtlety well, untapped. Double man. creature bash. So that's impressive. Also, um, also this Nakatl attacks only for two now, right? Because yep. there's no mountain. No red mana. Wow, this is so cheeky from the Merfolk player. Subtlety into into Tide Shaper. To be fair, okay, I will say that. Merfolk nowadays is basically blue taxes. Yep. <laughs> This is literally blue uh, death and taxes. Magic abuse splash. <laughs> blue Ponza, yep. Magic abuse splash. Yep. Yep, yep. And now it's a pass. Oh my god. And I think there's another Ooh. Lord there. So he could play Lord, animate Mutavolt, bash in. Okay. Lord, yeah, 
Uh, yeah, activate me to vault. Activate me to vault. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, chat. Chat, do it. He's calculating. Yeah. I mean, he should be calculating before playing the Lord, I guess, but... But, yeah, but maybe activate. you can double check and be sure about it. Attack. And attack, attack with attack, all. Attack, attack, attack. Extension of the hand or not? Yeah, lightning binding action. Let's see. Manuel thinking through his options. And oh my god, the suspense is killing. Yeah, me. exactly. The suspense I was thinking is about it. Can he do something or not? Well, probably if he's thinking like, so he can do something, and we have just to choose which is the better move right now. It would be really interesting if he just was thinking, sitting, looking at that, and then, Welp, yes, I am dead. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's correct that at this point of the tournament you will be sure to be dead, because also your opponent is 8, eight HP, 8 life point. Okay, there is something. There is something. There is something. Ley line, line of binding. binding. Okay, okay. So now we've got... Two, I've got, we've got well, three, six, okay, so three, six, seven, is it like nine damage coming through? Yeah? If I'm counting correctly? Probably, yeah. Now, to be fair, being at one, I mean, he just looks at the top card. Matt is for blockers, and I totally it. agree. Whoa. Congratulations Whoa. to the Merfolk player. Such a game. On to the finals, chat. This was really, really funny. Chad, I need your fish emotes, tuna fi emotes, you know. Let's uh, go, Tony. Tuna giocatore. <laughs> tuna know, giocatore. Just, just, <laughs> just, just, just show, you know, when this Merfolk player will rewatch the stream, I want the, him to see all the, all the hype Whoa. he gets. Exactly. Thank you, Chad. Let's go. Let's Whoa. go. Let's go. This was awesome. so funny. So funny to watch. It was such a comeback. Because I, I really starting to, to think, uh, probably, I don't know, I don't want to jinx for him, and but, you know, it's very difficult for Merfolk. And then he said, no, I exactly. decided that I win and it, changed literally, everything. Literally, literally that was. It I, was so funny. Just, it was subtlety into creature, tight shaper, you know, cut off the red mana, cut off all the tribal flame shenanigans and just attack in. Wow, exactly. chat. Okay. I am so happy about this. Thank you very much for joining us for